Hey guys, it is Wednesday, September 8th. The time right now is 1.14 p.m. and the temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius. And I am here just south of Eglinton Park and this is the North Toronto Memorial Community Center. And for this one, I'll be hopping on my brand new electric bike here. I just got this a few days ago. And the model is the Union, and it's made by a company called Movin, who are based here in Toronto. And you might recall I did a test ride on this bike about a month ago on this channel. And I liked it so much, I decided to get one for myself. There's still a few decals I need to remove, but other than that, we're all ready to go. And I don't really have a route in mind for this one. I just thought I would hop on and go for a spin. And rather than use the GoPro, I'll be using the DJI Pocket 2 for this one. All right, let's hop on the bike and take it for a spin. So hopefully I've got the camera angle lined up correctly for this one. Strap the bike helmet on. So straight ahead here is Eglinton Avenue West. And this is one of the worst roads in the city. It's plagued by LRT construction and it's quite rough. So I think it'll be a pretty good test of this new bike. So let's turn right here and head west for a while. wait for there to be an opening in traffic as it's reduced to one lane here. And we are moving on the moving. So this is my second e-bike. I purchased a Rise Fixie about a month ago, or at least it was delivered about that time. And while I quite like that bike, it has some challenges for recording videos. There's no suspension, so it's not a particularly smooth experience, at least when I'm live streaming. And this one has a suspension up front. It's also got a bit of a more relaxed, comfortable seating position. And it's got these fat tires, so it kind of soaks up a lot of the bumps in the room. Like I mentioned earlier, this is not one of the better roads in the city. It's handling these bumps quite well. So once I've had this bike for a while, I'll offer up my formal impressions, and maybe even do a review, and possibly a comparison between this and my other e-bike. And one advantage of this camera angle is I can kind of look around, whereas the GoPro it is fixed to my chest, so when I take a drink of water, the camera ends up pointing straight up in the air. It's also a bit harder to show the area around. So, new bike, new camera angle. I'll be getting a wide or a wide angle lens for this camera. It should be delivered tomorrow, so unfortunately I don't have it today for this. I imagine that'll 
improve things a bit. Like my other bike, it has five pedal assist modes. But unlike my other bike, this one has seven gears. And it's also got a neat twist throttle on the right handlebar, which I am finding is a lot more comfortable than the thumb throttle. And hopefully I'll be able to get around this truck at some point. That truck is turning off. And I just went over top the K Gardner Beltline Trail. And since it's got these nice fat tires and suspension, I was thinking of doing an off road of it or off road test today, but it rained quite heavily last night. And I didn't feel like ripping up any grass in our parks or getting it covered in mud and slop on my first day with it our first day taking it out. I do have it on maximum pedal assist right now. I'm in the sixth gear. Now the motor is 500 watts and the top speed is 32 kilometers. And that's just due to local e-bike regulations here in Ontario. I think that's the most powerful it's allowed to come. And truthfully, it is plenty of power. It's definitely a bit peppier than my other e-bike. That one's just got a 350 watt motor. Here is Bathurst and Eglinton. You can see the new LRT station going in. It's been quite a nuisance along Eglinton West and East for quite some time now. Perhaps I didn't pick the best route to be taking this thing out, but... It's certainly a good test of how it handles bad conditions. Not sure where he's going. I think my handlebars are... Perhaps a bit too high up for this truck here. Not sure. Let's try to squeeze through. That is one thing with this bike. I could raise the handlebars and the seat to whatever height. Obviously the seat, but being able to adjust the handlebars is pretty neat. As on my live streams, I'll be able to put the handlebars nice and low. So I'll have a good clearance as that camera mounts a bit lower than this one. And I am rethinking going this way, but right now. <laughs> the 
behold the perpetual disaster that is construction on Eglinton. This is the middle of a weekday afternoon during a pandemic. All right, let's take a detour here. Like I said, I don't really have a set route in mind. And here's Old Forest Hill Road. I should be able to go left here. No exit pedestrians accepted. Maybe the next one I can go left. One of these will take me over the Allen Road, and if not, I'll just make other plans. Yeah, it's this road here. I'll just hang on to this, and this will bend left. I don't need to be in maximum pedal assist and speed mode through these parts, so I'll knock it down a bit. I'm now in fifth gear on pedal assist three. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. And rather than using the throttle, I am pedaling. And now it's back to the throttle. <laughs> it's just more fun. And it's over top the Allen, avoiding that construction nightmare back there. This is Park Hill Road. So hopefully Eglinton is moving a little better out this way. It's a little bit of a brake squeal, but it seems to be normal for new disc brakes. I don't know if that was quicker, but it was certainly less stressful. Gotta wait for this truck to turn here. Yeah, Eglinton isn't really much better. <laughs> and this area is known as Little Jamaica. It's a great place to get some late time eat or late night eats. There's Marley Avenue. So at one point, Eglinton East was easily the worst road in the city, but I think things have improved along there quite a bit lately. Whereas Eglinton West, Although better than it was, it's still a bit of a shit show. I think this here is Oakwood. This might be a good spot to turn left, and I could take Oakwood, I think, all the way down to Davenport. Maybe it'll be nice to get out of all this construction. I also won't be riding directly into the sun. There's the 63A Ossington bus. That will be heading east for a few blocks to Eglinton West Station, soon to be renamed Cedarvale Station. We have an advanced green. Can I make it?
Nope. Oh, but this car can't clear the intersection anyways. So I'm on full throttle now, going 32 kilometers per hour. South on Oakwood Avenue. And the seat on this bike is really comfortable. I didn't quite have 100% battery as I took it out and I rode about six or seven kilometers this morning. I was testing a live streaming setup just to make sure that that would be good to go. And I also quickly tested this camera setup. So I'm not sure the percentage of the battery, but it seems to indicate I have full bars right now. So I think if I go down to Davenport, and maybe take that over to Young and head up Young for a familiar finish. See how this handles in the bike lanes there. And that is Vaughn Road, just to the left there. It's also worth noting that I filled the tires up to 30 PSI, which is their maximum. So this is as bumpy as this bike will get. I know a lot of people ride these fat tire bikes closer to 20 or 25 PSI. And as I have no uh, stabilizer for the live streams, I might end up doing that just to get things even smoother. I did a walk up Oakwood probably about three or four months ago. I started at St. Clair and I went up north to Eglinton. It's a bit of a tight squeeze here. Are you turning? One thing you can't see with this camera angle or my GoPro is that I am constantly looking over my shoulder. Now, it's one of the things I didn't like about the camera mount was every time I looked off to the side, the whole camera would kind of swing quite violently with it. All right, now I'm down one battery bar, so I'm still at around 80%. Although I am running it pretty hard been at max speed on the throttle pretty much the whole way. I think under ideal circumstances you get around 70 or 80 kilometers on one charge. There are two battery options. I have the smaller of the two. I think it's the LG and the bigger one's the Samsung. I might have got those reverse. But I'm planning on getting a second battery that I could just keep in my backpack. And that way range will pretty much never be a problem. Oh, no, it's showing I have full battery bars again. So I must be teetering around that 80% mark. And here is St. Clair Avenue West. But I think I can just go straight here at Oakwood. And this will take me down to Davenport, which will be just up ahead. So off to the right is the Corso Italian neighborhood. There's the Oakwood Collegiate Institute. So here is Rosemount Avenue. This is not a street I've ever explored on this channel before. Diving down to Davenport Road. 
down to what was a shoreline for an old glacial lake, Lake Iroquois. That's why there's a hill between St. Clair and Davenport, pretty much east to west across downtown, or just north in downtown. I guess this is Midtown. There's a Korean Presbyterian church straight ahead. Hey, we got bike sharrows. Here's Ossington Avenue. One neat thing about this bike is it does fold up as I live in a bachelor apartment and now I currently have three bikes and an e-scooter. So that's definitely a nice feature. And it's got a neat little handle area on the frame in case I ever need to lug it upstairs. It won't be too difficult. And this is East on Davenport. So I think what I'll do is I'll go home and take a look at this footage. And hopefully it worked out. And relax this afternoon, or what's left of it, and then go out and do a live stream this evening. And this is Christie Street. Now this kind of e-bike is allowed in the bike lanes. It's the other kind that look more like a motorcycle or a Vespa scooter that aren't. I'll have to double check what the maximum speed limit is for bike lanes. You think I would have looked that up before I came out? But even though it looks like I'm moving pretty good, I would still probably go faster than this on my single speed. And this here is Bathurst Street. So just past Bathurst on the left will be Casa Loma. Perched atop the hill on the north side of the shoreline there. There's the TTC Hillcrest facility just on the right. That's where they service a lot of the streetcars and transit vehicles. I think they paint them and do that sort of thing there as well on top of maintenance. Okay, the CN Tower sighting off to the right, if the camera will twist over that way. as I have five bars of battery again. It might just be calibrating. It's a brand new battery and this is my first time ever using it to any real extent other than the six or seven kilometers I did earlier today. Was this truck, what is he doing? What are you doing? He wasn't signaling or anything. I'll have to go back and watch the footage, but what the hell? Hi. 
you definitely have to be careful with right turning vehicles here, especially when you see a dotted line like that. That means if a car is ahead of you, it's there right away on a right turn. But in the case of that truck, it's always prudent if you're not sure what someone's doing, just to hang behind them and let them turn. See, this car's turning. So it would have been its right away had we not been held up by this red light. Here's a look at the Baldwin steps. I'm gonna lead you back up to Spadina Road. This is where Spadina Road briefly comes to a hiatus and it resumes just on the north side of those steps after a little park. So one of the things I have planned for this bike is to take it over to the Scarborough Bluffs. I've had a lot of requests to go over that way. And I think this would be the perfect device to take me there. It's a bit annoying to get there by transit. Here's Huron Street. And I could turn up Poplar Plains Road, just off to the left, and test the hill climbing ability of this thing. So I think this is where Davenport and McPherson mingle. This part of the street is both streets, I think, actually. It's McPherson straight ahead there. All right, here is DuPont. All right, I'm gonna turn left on DuPont. just found myself <laughs> gravitating towards this left turn lane anyway. The plan was to take Davenport to Young, but oh well. We'll improvise this one a little bit. And DuPont will terminate at Avenue. So then do I just go north or? Well, we'll figure it out. I kind of want to tackle the hill going up on Young. Yeah, let's find my way back to Davenport. This is Bedford Road. This will take me there for sure. And suddenly all these patchy, bumpy roads are not a problem on this bike. Whereas on my other bike, I'm kind of gritting my teeth a little bit. And it also jams my thumb into the throttle when I'm going fast and I hit a bump. But smooth sailing on this thing. I won't lie, my butt is quite comfy. Don't worry, I'll find some negatives with it at some point. One thing is you can't start just from the throttle. You have to do a pedal start, whereas my other bark, or bike bark, <laughs> will do a moving, or a start from a stop, just based off of the throttle without the a few little pedals to get going. I don't really mind that at all though. All right, back to Davenport.
there's a car in the bike lane up ahead. This might be a good chance to check out my alarm on this thing. There you go, nice and loud. See, what are these people doing? Give them the middle finger. This alarm is nice and loud. <laughs> Look at this choppy bike lane. They're just chewing it up. Stay in the bike lane here. Where's this truck going? Straddling two lanes. I'm gonna be turning left just up here. could probably just hop around and get into that left turning lane. So it might have been advantageous to stay to the right, but oh well. We'll be there sooner or later anyways. So here is Young. This is where Davenport turns into Church Street on the other side of Young. What is this Mercedes doing? He was moving like he was turning here and then at the last second he decided to go straight through the intersection. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Gotta look. All right, here's Almer, so watch this channel, this will be a very familiar finish to this ride, just booting straight north up Young. Won't be annoyed if I didn't set the camera up correctly. I can make this. Oh, little obstacle there at the last second. some of those pesky umbrellas that dangerously hang over the sidewalk. 
I'm not sure why they're allowed to do that. Blame that person. I think a police officer actually directed her into the bike lane there. There was some construction going on. Why do people do this? There's no need to cross over the line when you're turning. It's not like you had a visibility problem there. Shaftesbury. This is where I ended my collaboration with Ken, at least my part of the video. And the hill I was talking about is coming up just up ahead here. It's always a fun march to make on the regular bike. Let's see how this one does. I'll also have to try it going up the Hogs Hollow Hill on Young Street, just south of York Mills. Oh, this is effortless. I'm going 26 kilometers per hour up the hill. I think my other e-bike, which does have a lesser motor, it's 350 watts, although it is lighter. doesn't quite get up to that speed and I don't have the best gear selected now for <laughs> resuming pedaling. Maybe I should lower that. And here is Rose Hill Avenue. One thing I haven't really encountered on this ride are other cyclists in front of me. It's a bit strange. Let's check to make sure this camera's still recording. Yep, 37 minutes into the video. That thing on the left is a proper scooter. It's plated and, whoa, that's not very smart. The guy didn't even look. And my battery meter is pretty much right up. This wasn't a particularly long ride, but that's definitely encouraging for getting out and doing some extended rides. And with these tires, I'll be pretty good to go all seasons on this thing. And we're heading north up the east side of Young into Young and Davisville.
just put myself in fourth gear. Southbound line one subway train. You gotta be careful up here. There's someone. Getting in or out of the cab. That beep might have been my camera turning off. That car was nice to slow down and honk. I was prepared to let it go through. into the construction nightmare that is Young and Eglinton. So we are back up to Eglinton here, where I started. There are no left turns here, otherwise I could just go right to the spot where I started recording this. And that is easily the worst major intersection in the city. turn left here. So if I were to continue going straight here, I'd be able to get to where I started this ride. It'll take me pretty much exactly there, but... I'm more interested in going home right now. Where 
is this UPS truck going? He is turning left. That is where I was going to go. Let's just go over to the fire hall. No parking, private property. It's okay, I'll only be here for a second. And there we go with the maiden voyage. Brand new, move-in, Union Electric Folding Fat Tire E-Bike. So let me know your thoughts and comments on this one. Switch over to the other camera. I really couldn't find any faults on that ride. I'm quite happy with it. And let me know about this camera angle versus the GoPro, which one you prefer. I'll still make some tweaks to it, of course. And if you wish to support the channel, I do have links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description, along with a link to a seldom updated Instagram account. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.